Okay, so here was the original data with uh, small t in minutes and big T in degrees C. We worked out from manipulating the algebra in the first video that we should be plotting t against log of big T. So this is the equivalent of a y, this is the equivalent of our x. Now to do this, if we highlight all of that data, you can include those as well, so it will label our axes, and I'm going to go to insert, and I'm going to go to chart. If you're using Microsoft Excel or OpenOffice Calc, what you're after is uh, inserting a scattered diagram. I'm going to do it on Google Sheets. So chart, it's inserting me a graph here, but if I go to this type here, we're after the scatter diagram. Okay, just move it down so we can see the data as well. On here, if you go to customize, what we're after is to put in a trend line. So I'm going to go to series, and if I scroll down, there's one that says trend line here. And um, if you scroll down a bit more, for label, we're going to put it as a use equation. What we're after here is for it to give us the equation. Now, I'm going to um, just make that bigger. If I click on it, it gives me some options for this. If I go to the legend font size, I'm just going to make it a bit bigger so we can see it. And there's one final question I want to do to this graph. If you look at the x-axis, we've started it at 2. Really, we want it to start at 0 so we can see what our y-intercept is. If I click on this, it gives me some options for it. And for minimum value here, instead of starting at 2, if I type in 0, it's now um, got the origin there. This is important because we want to be able to read off the y-intercept. Now, if we look at this, we've got log t, which is like a y. We've got x. Really, we know that that should be saying t because we're plotting t against log of big t. This number here is the gradient, minus 0.0327. Well, it's negative, which means it's going down, which makes sense. We can see that. And it's quite a small number, so it's a very shallow gradient. And then this number here, 1.98, that's the y-intercept. So it's crossing there. Notice that if we hadn't started this at 2, uh, if we had started at 2 rather than 0, it wouldn't have looked right for the y-intercept, but now it does because we started it properly at 0. If we were drawing this actually for the exam, we'd get some graph paper, we'd get these points and we'd physically plot them out. To read off the y-intercept, it's literally drawing the line and reading off where it goes. And then for the gradient here, well, if we drew a triangle here going down and across, we could do change in y over change in x, and that will give us this number here. Since you don't have graph paper at home, we're doing it using the technology, but you wouldn't be doing this in the real exam. These are the important two numbers. Once you've done this with your um, data, you write down your gradient and you write down this number. Then we'll move on to the next part.